Welcome to this demonstration of the Ignite API product management platform. We're going to illustrate this bimodal working method with an example equally applicable to insurance or healthcare. APIs are key to digital transformation, as is the need for business and IT to collaborate in a bimodal way. Ignite is uniquely placed in the market to support both modes when it comes to the full lifecycle of your APIs. Ignite helps businesses quickly and easily identify the API products they need to take their customer journeys from the drawing board to market-testable digital products. When market testing is complete and IT is required to scale out these digital products quickly, Ignite helps speed up mode one without compromise on security, scalability, and robustness. Imagine a business team looking to offer an online customer of life insurance the option of signing up to a health and wellness program that would monitor their activity. They could sign up for a number of steps per day, for example. If you keep up the activity, you get a discount on your policy. In the bimodal world, the digital project manager starts out by using Ignite to innovate at speed in a properly governed environment. They're looking to identify parts of existing APIs, both internal and third party, that when combined can form an API product that supports this new digital product. We're going to take you through the plan, design, build, and run stages of this API product lifecycle. Here, the business planner can browse internal APIs and third-party APIs in a simple way that hides the complexities below these APIs. This is where Ignite helps with innovation as the business person can see all of the APIs available to them and combine them into an API product to create new digital experiences. When you click on an API, you can see all the methods that it uses in a clear, business-friendly description of what the API is designed to do. When you find the method that you want to add, you can add it to the shopping cart. Here, the user is selecting the internal APIs they need as they relate to party and policy. They can then combine these with the API methods provided by the third-party Fitbit API. And now they can see their selection of APIs that they can combine together to make a new API product. Once they've done that, they can then propose this new product and add a business description for it. They can describe the part of the customer journey that each selection should be supporting in the activity description column. In the case that no API exists for a business function, they can request that one be built for them. In this case, there is no API to pay a discount rebate when the customer achieves their goal. The user is also able to illustrate how the different APIs support the customer journey flow, as well as giving some high-level business requirements for market testing. All of these guides that you are seeing are easily customizable to support each enterprise's different requirements. We call them accelerators. So when the request to propose a new API product is complete, it's submitted for a detailed design review. The designer can then pick this request up and immediately see what the business is asking for. They can see that the proposed API product is mainly reusing existing API methods, but there is one that needs to be built. In this example, the payment refund API. Building this in Ignite is fast and easily governed. By clicking on the link here, they'll fire up the accelerator for building a brand new API. Using this simple six-step form, a quality corporate standard API can be built in minutes. The form takes the user through the steps required by the enterprise, starting with classifying the API in terms of which business capabilities it supports, it then requires them to use the existing domain information models, which help ensure consistency across all internal APIs. Security is paramount when it comes to APIs. Here, the user simply selects the level of security required, if they know it, and Ignite ensures that all the code is generated to the corporate standards via the Ignite generation templates. Additionally, by checking this box, the correct settings are applied in the runtime as the artifacts are deployed.
As this new API design is completed, the artifacts are automatically generated using existing templates, and everything is automatically deployed to the runtime sandbox and is ready for testing. Testing can take place using the test conditions also created by Ignite from the design. Once testing is complete, the new API can be promoted to production. Now that the new API product is ready, we can add the final touch, an icon graphic for the new product. And now when we return to the browse view, we see the new API product for the lifecycle digital journey. Incidentally, we also see the new payment API is also available for everyone to reuse in their other digital journeys. Now let's assume that this new digital product has been market tested and has proved to be a winning proposition. Mode 1 users are now able to go faster with the help of Ignite. For example, let's say that in testing, the DevOps team has found that the scalability of this API had a performance issue. They can quickly access the Ignite DevOps dashboard to drill down to the area that's causing issues. Here they see that the return payment API is being tightly throttled. Throttling decisions should be made by the business rather than DevOps, who may not understand the business context of what the API is supposed to be delivering. With Ignite, DevOps can easily see who the API product manager is for this API and ask them to look at their design and reset the throttling if they think that's appropriate. The API product manager has a wealth of information in Ignite to help with their decision. For example, if the new API had been reused in another API product, this will automatically be recorded in this detailed specification. Here the API product manager is able to find the rate limiting settings in the non-functional requirements section and can reset them. Once the save button is pressed, the runtime is automatically updated and the mode one performance issue is fixed. Thanks for watching. In this short demo, we've shown you how Ignite helps with bimodal API product planning, designing, building, and running. Tune in for more videos.